Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Corey Duzan coming to you today from Lockport Township High School. And congratulations, you are here for the inaugural launch of TNT Tuesday with yours truly. What does TNT stand for? It means tips and tricks. Most tips and tricks you're going to be seeing um, in these are going to be for the IED curriculum. Uh, but you might be surprised. There might be some things you can find uh, with this that can help you in any of your uh, other PLTW engineering courses. So let's go ahead and get started with our first TNT Tuesday. Today's topic is, okay, is going to be something involved with Inventor. All right. And the first thing I'd like to talk about is um, if, if we were just to go out here and start extracting information about our current part that we have. All right. If you want to go back there and take a look at some of the, uh, the sketch information, you would have to come over here to the model, expand out on the extrusion, right click here on the sketch and say edit sketch. All right. That's going to be uh, giving us the capability of taking a look at what we use to constrain that sketch. OK. Or we could just right click here on the extrusion and say edit the sketch. All right, and uh, I'm sorry, edit the feature. Let's do it that way. And that's gonna be showing us uh, what we did here as far as the extrusion uh, and the information we needed for that feature. So in this case, it's showing us two inches. But did you know, all right, we have the ability to actually show uh, some of that information over here in the model, all right? All right, so I'm gonna show you today how we can actually get that to show up. So the first thing I'm going to have you do is actually come up here and find what we call the cheeseburger in my class. It looks like a cheeseburger kind of from the side. All right. And if you go and pick on the cheeseburger down here, what you're going to be seeing is something called display preferences. One of the display preferences we have is something called show extended name. So watch when I pick it, what happens? So now there's some new information over here next to the feature. All right. It's indicating that that is a solid. And the information that you see here, as far as the dimension goes, is what the current uh, extrusion distance is so it's two inches all right a heck of a lot easier showing that information there at the model okay rather than going in here to edit the feature to show it within that dialog box all right so just a helpful little uh, you know tip or a trick as far as inventor and extended names goes it's something that we use in my classes it's very very helpful and that is your first TNT Tuesday hope you all have a great week stay warm